All right, everyone, hello. Welcome to my first bullet journaling video ever. Uh, so, starting off with a flip through of my yearly, uh, I've got my key over here on the left and index on the right. And then just continuing with the index. And then I started off the bullet journal with a nice quote. Here I've got my future log, uh, pretty self-explanatory. We've got the uh, months on the left and dates on the right. My goals for 2018, pretty self-explanatory. And any achievements I wanted to keep track of on the right. And then books and movies. And then here I messed up on this page, uh, so I'm going to fill it with memories and photos and such from this year. Wish list and gift ideas. And then YouTube video ideas and my growth tracker for the year. So then I'm going to start off here uh, using my zebra pen, blue Bic highlighter, crazy art uh, markers in blue and gray. And I want to apologize in advance for any shakiness to the video. Um, I didn't really quite plan out how exactly to hold my phone properly <laughs> to video this. So um, anyway, I am going to start off here on the left drawing just a snowflake. I chose to go for a winter theme. I know, kind of cliche. Probably everyone is doing that. but. I thought it looked really pretty and bullet journaling is honestly all about your personal preference. So that's what I wanted to do this month. Also want to make note of the fact that I didn't have any plans like whatsoever for the bullet journal. So I just kind of winged it just like I'm kind of also winging this voiceover. So hopefully everything goes smoothly. If not, I apologize. But anyway, I just drew a snowflake and I'm making a positive quote here on the left. It says, positive energy yields positive results. And then starting over on the right here with my January cover. So just writing the word January, of course, and then putting a small little calendar at the bottom just so I can keep track of the days and numbers. And then of course I'm going to decorate it with little snowflakes really quick here. Uh, this is pretty simple. I'm not a very artistic person, honestly. So this was just right for me to be able to draw simple little snowflakes and such. And obviously they didn't all turn out perfect, that's okay. Um, it's my personal preference, honestly, to have them kind of messy, and I really love the way it turned out in the end. And then I also got these little stickers off of Amazon. They're monthly little stickers where I can uh, just put them in my bullet journal here. So I chose to put a couple of little mittens here on the side of the calendar. And I thought that just kind of brought it all together and made it really pretty. So then I'm starting over here with my monthly log right behind my cover for the month. And I wasn't originally thrilled how this turned out, uh, but it ended up really nice in the end. When you see the flip through, I made a few adjustments to it, I think off camera actually. But I should have originally kept it without lines. Like, I'll show, I'll show you guys in a minute, of course. But I originally wrote in the numbers and didn't have any lines or anything to kind of contain it. And I thought, 
that I would need some lines to kind of keep any of my writings in the little box for that day. Um, I should have probably just left it the way it was because I really liked the spread out look and I think I'm gonna try that for next month to kind of keep it boxless if that makes sense. So here of course just writing out my numbers and such for the month. I also want to let you guys know that all of the little boxes for the dates weren't exactly even. Um, I did mess a few of them up, but honestly that's okay. It's just my personal preference. If you guys want something a little messier or something a little bit more perfect, that's of course your personal preference too. And then I'm just making this little box over here at the bottom uh, to keep track of important dates and such, um, just in a bigger little area so that I can refer to that quickly instead of having to look through the whole calendar. Just my personal preference, whatever you guys want to put in that space down there is totally up to you. Now here's what I was talking about earlier with the lines, like making little boxes and such for each date. Uh, I really loved how it was before I did this. I did originally fix it at, or eventually, I'm sorry, fix it at the end um, to look a little bit better, but my personal preference, I should have just left it the way it was. And as you can see there, some of the boxes are kind of uneven. That's okay with me, but whatever you guys prefer to do with your own bullet journals is totally up to you. And then of course I'm just writing in a couple of important things that I didn't want to forget to put in there. And then of course I'm putting a few of my stickers from the little sticker package that I got off of Amazon. I did originally, or eventually, I don't know why I keep replacing the word eventually with originally. That is not very smart. but. I did eventually end up straightening out the word party there. I didn't realize how crooked and like vertical it was until the end of the video. And then of course I'm just drawing a few more little snowflakes and then putting dots kind of all over the page to make it look like it's snowing and just put it all together and make it look prettier.
And then over here on the left, I'm just starting out with my expenses tracker for the month. I actually just got a new car the other day, so this is something that I really wanted to try to include and incorporate. I've never done one of these before in my bullet journals. But I just separated it into three different little sections, earnings, spent, and agenda. And then, I'm sorry it cut this part off, but I'm actually just numbering the pages from 1 to 31 for every day of the month. So I will be writing down everything each day in its little section there. And I decided to write some little notes on the bottom here uh, because my first car payment isn't due until next month. So I wanted to write down that I wanted to put $100 into savings every week so that I can try to build up my $100 savings, or I'm sorry, $1,000 savings account. Uh, it's already at $500, but I wanted to make sure I got that done before I had to start paying my car payment next month. But anyway, so this other side here is my habit tracker. I've also never quite done one of these, but I just wrote it down here. I think this is the pretty standard setup for habit trackers that everyone does. Um, so I'm just writing numbers down in their own individual little boxes and then writing some stuff down here on the left. And then I think what people do is they fill in the little boxes every day if you do or don't do that specific habit. So I didn't film all of my little habits that I want to track here, uh, but I wrote some more down after I was done with the video when I thought of them. Okay, so this is my line a day page. Uh, basically what that is is just a mini little diary. Uh, you just write one line every single day to kind of summarize what happened that day. And this is actually really great for me. I've done this before in the past with kind of some of my little makeshift bullet journals. Because I have never been very successful with keeping a true diary. So this is really nice to have just to write down a line a day to summarize what happened that day that way someday in the future I can look back on it and see exactly what happened every day and then of course I'm decorating it with a few little stickers and some snowflakes I did want to keep this page fairly uh, blank though so that I could write down and be able to see my little sentences every single day better. And then moving on to my first weekly log here. This one is pretty self-explanatory so I'm not going to really talk you through it. And I just realized that I never crossed that T, so that's going to drive me a little bit crazy. And I'm going to have to go and do that the second I get home today. <laughs> and then, of course, decorating it with a few little snowflakes and such to make it look just a little bit more put together, in my opinion.
And then of course I made four more weekly logs. You'll see that the last one is a little bit cluttered than the rest of them because it is the last one of the month and I just wanted to fit all of the days into that one weekly log. But here I've got my brain dump January page and I messed up on my M, oops. And all this basically is is just for random notes, grocery lists, whatever comes to my mind in January little doodles, anything that I can think of. So I'm just decorating that like I did the rest of the pages and filling in my one word because I didn't want it to be so noticeable that I messed up my M. And then putting my last little sticker on there. And then I've got my final little flip through for you guys here. Oh no, that's, sorry. <laughs> My bad. This is not my final little flip through. This is kind of my editing the pages to make them a little bit better flip through, if that makes sense. And you'll see in my final th flip through that I did uh, change up the monthly log just a little bit off camera when I thought about it to make it look a little bit more put together. And then here's my final flip through. So here you can see I went over it with the gray marker a little bit so that the boxes didn't look so thin and not put together. And I did straighten out that party word there. All right, guys, and as I said on my little brain dump page, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next video.